So if you did write an answer and you did, you would have had to use the quadratic formula to check your solutions. So if you didn't do that, that means you factored it incorrectly, which I could definitely see you making that mistake because you would assume that I would give you something nice, right? But, um, but I did uh, write down the problem wrong, and I apologize for that. So if we want to find the critical values, guys, we're going to set. First thing we're going to do is find the derivative, which in this case, bring down the 4. That's going to be 2x cubed minus um, 3x squared minus 2x, right? And then we want to find the critical values. We want to set this equal to 0. Um, and we want to find where it's undefined. Well, obviously, guys, we're not going to be dealing when it's undefined. Um, so we just want to figure out when it's 0 because this is a continuous function. So set equal to 0, I can factor out an x here. And therefore, I have, um, when I factor out an x, I'm left with the 2x squared minus 3x minus 2. Now, this makes it a little bit more simple. So now I need to see if I can factor this, right? It is a quadratic, so you want to see, you know, how could I break this down? And you could say, all right, well, we could have 2x in one, and we could have x in the other one. They need to multiply to give me negative 2, but they need to um, add to give me negative 4, so, or add to give me negative 3. So if I did a 2x times a negative 2, that would give me a negative 2. And then add 1, this would all work. So now, when I set these all equal to 0 by applying the 0 product property, And therefore, I have x equals 0, x equals negative 1 half, and x equals 2. So we can say the critical values occur at x equals negative 1 half, 0, and 2. Yes? No? Sorry about the first thing. But just double check, guys, if there's um, obviously. Some 